Hey, I just want to talk about um, my lupus experience. Since it is the month of May and May is Lupus Awareness Month, um, I know a lot of people don't even realize that I have lupus, but um, I was diagnosed six years ago. And um, I just want to talk about it a little bit. Um, you know, first of all, um, so I was diagnosed in 2010, so it's been six years. And my first symptom was um, was I had knee pain. Uh, my my knee joint it was um, my knee had swelled. It was just my right knee, just one knee, um, and it would, it would click and pop um, when I walked. So that went on for a while. Um, and I think my next symptom was, and this was in two thousand. I believe 2007 when I had the problem with my knee, but I, you know, I didn't have a diagnosis or anything like that. Um, my next symptom was, um, I guess in like maybe 2009, um, my, um, my hands, like when I would go on lunch break, when we would go out to eat, you know, when I would order a tea or ice water and I would hold the glass anyway when I got back from work my hands would you know turn red or they would turn purple and they would feel like they had been frostbit and this was happening every time I went out to eat lunch so finally I said to my co-workers when I got back I was like um you all I said every time I come back from lunch I mean my hands look at my hands they're purple they feel like they've been frostbit you know, I work at a dentist's office, so, um, you know, a dentist is a doctor. So, um, the dentist I was working with at the time, he said, um, it's probably Raynaud's. And I was like, Raynaud's, what's that? And, um, you know, he didn't explain it too much to me, but, um, I, you know, I just asked him to write it down for me because when I got home, I wanted to Google it. So, I did Google it, um. And then finally, when I was able to go to the doctor, you know, it was confirmed that I had Raynaud's. And a lot of times when you have Raynaud's, it means that um, something is going on with your, your immune system and um, you may have an autoimmune disease. So, you know, we did blood work and everything like that. And um, my ANAs, that's something they check in your blood. It's your anti-nuclear antibodies mine were really elevated so from there my own um, family doctor referred me to a rheumatologist and a rheumatologist usually handles um things like that um dealing with any kind of pain definitely joint pain lupus patients or whatever so so when i went to um this doctor's visit um you know, it was actually on my birthday. It was January 19th, 2010. I had a doctor's appointment with my rheumatologist. So that's how I can kind of remember real easy the anniversary of when I was diagnosed. So anyway, my first visit there, um, you know, he looked at all the paperwork that was sent over. And he said, um, I think you have lupus. And, you know, he said, I think you have lupus. And you know, I didn't say anything, but that word that word stuck in my head. He said, I think you have lupus. So, you know, so from there I had to um go get more blood work done. And at that time I was getting blood work done every every three months. Every three months. So, you know, after a while, maybe like four or five visits, which was probably close to a year later. I finally asked, I said, are we still trying to figure out a diagnosis? And he said, he said, no, you have lupus. I was like, 